Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jason Carr. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy, and this is my 2009 Kia Sportage. <laughs> So what makes this 2009 Kia Sportage so special? Well, it was a feature of my 100th, 102nd video on YouTube. See, I've been doing YouTube now since January of 2018, and you're watching this on Saturday, September 29th. So we've got a little ways to go before we reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. We're currently hovering somewhere around the 320 mark, and uh, my goal is to get to 1,000 by the time my one year anniversary. I said by the end of the year, but by the time my one year anniversary on YouTube rolls around. So guys, before you go any further, if you haven't done it already, please go down right here and hit that subscribe button and bell notification. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. So now let's get on with the video. So for those of you who do follow the channel and understand why I bought this vehicle, it's to celebrate my 100th video, or in this case, 102nd video on YouTube. So by doing that, I bought this Kia Sportage. And a customer traded it, we gave them 500 bucks for it. It's got a lot of things wrong with it, most of which I probably won't fix. But for 500 bucks in that video, I think we pretty well got our money's worth already. And I'm still driving it. It does have an inspection sticker, and the inspection sticker is good until, I think, April next year. My guess, if we don't fix anything, it's probably not going to make it. But we're going to get a few more good weather videos out of this thing before it dies on us or before the winter comes because there's not much left of these tires, especially after that last video, and we're not likely going to spend any money to put winter tires on it. But you never know. We still have yet to bring it into the shop and find out exactly what all that thrashing around is in the back. Um, there's something wrong with the suspension and we're going to have to see if we can figure that out. So I'm just here at the grocery store. I've got to run in pick up a few things. I'll be right back. Well, it didn't take very long but my wife hates it when I go into the grocery store all by myself because I come out buying big bags of stuff like this. It's going to kill me. Anyways, back to the Kia. So, as we move along with this Kicking It With Kia project, I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear some of the ideas that you have that you wanna see me do, maybe me and Junior together or something like that, of some of the projects that uh, we could be doing with this thing, whether it be you know, more smoke shows, whether it be a small budget to pimp it out with some dollar store stickers or I don't know what you want us to do tint the windows you know whatever think of some ideas put your suggestions in the comments below I'm also going to post that question on Instagram to see what you guys want to see on this channel with this Kia we're going to have it for a little while as long as the weather's good so we might as well make hay while the sun shines I say that it's raining out and it's almost dark. Anyways, king of cliche. So once again at the beginning of this video you did see a an intro that was sent to me by Tony at, uh, at Driven by Gears. I'll put his name up here one more time so you guys can go follow him on his YouTube and Instagram. And what he used for that intro was basically a template that you can add your own logo to and uh, add your own little bit of uh, something to make it your own. And that's great and I really love the one that he chose for me because I got playing around on that site myself and as I was narrowing it down to what I found, you know, I kind of led back right to that one again anyway. So as great as that is and as appreciative as I am to Tony for doing that, I'd like to have something still, yet again, a little bit more unique. And I'm going to continue to use Tony's intro for my channel 
until we can come up with something a little more unique, something that is for sure one of a kind. So you guys all remember the Reviews Day Tuesday post uh, a few weeks back on the 2014 Nissan Rogue. Well, guess what? I sold that Nissan Rogue to somebody local. Not only is that person local, but they watch the channel just like you. So when he came in, he told me that it was the review that basically sold him on the vehicle. He had been in before, looked at it, kind of, you know, tire kicking. And uh, so I want to give a big shout out to Jonathan. And Jonathan, you know who you are, obviously, you watch the channel, for coming in and having faith in us to provide you with exactly what you wanted. I'm glad to hear that you watch the channel. I'm glad that you're giving me some input on things that we can do with the Kia and uh, make this a little bit more of an interactive type uh, YouTube channel. So as we move forward with the channel, I just might get Jonathan to help me out with some of these videos. So someday you might get to meet Jonathan. So the reason why I bring up the Rogue is because I want to show you what it is he traded in. Now, the reason why it's such a big deal on what he traded in is because as a rule it's not something that I would go out looking for. There's a very unique market for somebody who wants one of these cars. It would be a hard sell for me to sell this kind of car in my neck of the woods. So there's very few people that want one. It's almost like having a Corvette for very big money that only a few people can afford it, so they're the ones that are going to buy it. It's hard to find those people. So what Jonathan traded in with me was this. This is a 2011 C300. Now, don't think for a second that I don't like the car. I do. It's low mileage. It's in excellent condition. All it needed was a little bit of cleaning up four new tires and this thing would be ready for the lot. But again, because of the uniqueness of the car and such a niche market for somebody who wants to buy one of those, I had to try different avenues to try and sell this thing even before I took it on trade. So in this, in the used car business, we have a lot of different options at our disposal. And a lot of those auctions provide you with appraisal services where you can come, take multiple pictures of the car, show any imperfections, you know, everything about the car and give a full disclosure so that other dealers can go to this site, take a look at it and see what it's all about. The site that I used was called Wholesale Express. There's several of them out there just like it. And before Jonathan left that day, we had a buyer, we had a deal and we had an approval. So all we had to do was put everything together and the next day Jonathan drove home in his 2014 Nissan Rogue. Now I know this seems just like a video of me driving around with the lights on and the camera, but it does help me to share with you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes on what has to take place sometimes to get a vehicle sold and put a deal together. So I hope you enjoyed that little step behind the scenes and, and understanding what goes on there. And we'll continue to do more of that I do have a little bit of an update for you on the 36 Dodge project, which I will share in an upcoming video. But in the meantime, guys, if you haven't done it already, head on over to the link in the description below so you can get your very own Old Car Auto Guy swag. I have t-shirts, I have hoodies. We will be expanding that line to possibly some uh, hats and other, other items, but in the meantime, the t-shirts, the hoodies are up for sale and they're really inexpensive t-shirts are 20 bucks hoodies are 30. so go to that link below right now if you're interested in buying some old car auto guy swag and they'll get that sent out to you right away so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and comment down below your thoughts on this kicking it with kia project guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment down in the comment section below what you think we should be doing with this Kia project. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you in the next upload.